It's Billy Bush, and there's a thing called Stars on Ice. A lot of skaters from uh, the Olympics, the recent Olympics in Vancouver, also past Olympics. Uh, you know, Sasha Cohen does it. Evan Lysacek does it. Stars on Ice. It's a tour around the country. And here's the headline I'm looking at. It says, Johnny Weir deemed, quote, not family friendly enough to perform in Stars on Ice. Johnny is a friend of Axis Hollywood. He's on the phone right now. Johnny? What, How are you, Billy? What do I make of this, Johnny? Is this, is this headline for real? Yeah, it is for real. I mean, I've been, uh, you know, an American champion three times, and and uh, I've never been invited to do Stars on Ice before, which is the only figure skating tour in the U.S. And, um, you know, it's disappointing that I can't perform for my American fans who have been so amazing to me. And, and um, you know, it's, it's sad, the reasoning behind why why I'm not able to do the this, this show, and it's all because, you know, I'm not quote unquote family friendly enough. But how does that make you feel? Does that hurt your feelings or does that make you mad? Um, it definitely doesn't hurt my feelings. I mean, I totally understand that I'm a little outrageous in some ways. Before the sponsors of the Stars and Ice tour, I'm a little, I'm a little on the PC. But still, I, I really wish I had the chance to perform for the American fans because they've been so amazing, especially after return this time from Vancouver and uh, it's just you know it, it's very disappointing so I am I am a little mad but um, you know we are looking for sponsors so that I can make my own American tour right now oh you're you're a, a, a one to uh, well I mean you are very popular there's no question about that and you know a lot of people think that if you were to join stars on ice some lagging ticket sales which they are experiencing might actually get a boost because there'd be something original I guess to watch so well, you, you know, wanna... I I can't I can't argue that. I mean, I have many fans that I know would come to the show to to see me skate. But right now, just artistically and creatively, I'd love to have my own shows and my own tour and involve some big musical acts, like maybe even getting Lady Gaga or something like that to perform with me. And uh, you know, we're, we just have to find sponsors for that kind of thing. So this might be. So this might really. You're seeing this as possible opportunity. It, it definitely is a possible opportunity. I'd love, I'd love to be involved creatively and produce the show myself. And believe me, nobody would be too unfamily friendly for my show. Um, well, the main sponsor for Stars on Ice is Smuckers. You know, that's uh, it's a jam, jelly. You know, families around the breakfast table. I'm wondering, does is it your perceived sexual orientation that runs counter? Um, you know what? There there could be something to that, but I. I, I like to think that there's nothing to do with my perceived sexual orientation or my perceived flamboyance. I don't. I hope that it wouldn't have anything to do with that. I think in the past few years, I mean, I've talked very openly about certain things and and made drug references and things like that. And I mean, I can totally understand how that isn't good for children. But <laughs> at the same time, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's the biggest issue. <laughs> The, the the president of Glad, I think, sort of does. Because the only way that you could, the only way they can actually explain why Johnny Weir, one of the most popular skaters in the country, would be excluded, would have to be that. Well, that's, you know, it's possible, and to have the support of Glad is, is an amazing thing. But, uh, you know, I I I don't like to look at things that way. I don't like to look at. There being uh, boundaries as far as sexuality is concerned, and I don't like to think that there are issues in that way. Would be kind of funny if, like, a slightly, you know, flamboyant skater. It, by the way, isn't it one of the most flamboyant sports on the world in the world? Well, I mean, anytime you get men in glitter, it's a, it's a flamboyant occasion. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm saying this is this is figure skating. It's not like you know, it's it's not it's not football. Unbelievable. No, I, I, I agree, but I mean, you know what, I, I don't like to look at things that way, and I don't like to look at things based, based on a person's sexuality or race or anything like that. I'm not that kind of person, so I can't really understand that side of the argument. But I do know that um, I do know that I would love to perform for my American fans, and if the only way I can do that is by making my own show, then so be it. Sponsors come one, come all. <laughs> Johnny Weir looking for sponsors, looking to launch his own tour and uh, maybe take on Stars on Ice. Is that a way to do it? 
my critics can eat it. <laughs> I want people to remember me as someone that pushed the envelope, pushed the boundaries of the United States figure skating establishment. I can't change anyone's mind about me except my own. And I'm happy with who Johnny Weir is. People tend to think that I'm putting on an act, but that's just me. I've been raised to be outspoken, to have my own thoughts. I have never seen a point in pleasing other people. I know that a lot of people, especially the more Republican style people, are, are very f afraid of what I mean to the sport and what I'm going to say, what kind of revolutionary crazy things going to come out of my mouth. And, you know, good for them. They should be scared. <laughs>